What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're going to do a Watch Gang Platinum unboxing. Real quick, thanks to Watch Gang for supporting The Modest Man and making my work possible by sponsoring this video. Now, if you haven't heard of Watch Gang, they are a watch subscription company. Uh, they have three tiers of service. So there's Watch Gang Original, Black, and Platinum. Now, Original is the uh, most affordable tier. It's $25 a month, and they send you watches that are worth anywhere from $50 to $150. Uh, there's Watch Gang Black. It's $91 a month, and they send you watches that are $150 to $500. And there's Watch Gang Platinum, which is $275 a month and they try to send you watches that are worth $500 to $1,500. Now with these prices, they're talking about the online retail price, not the MSRP, which is the suggested retail price. Now we all know that with watches especially, sometimes the MSRP is a lot higher than the actual retail price of the watch. So what Watch Gang is trying to do here is for their subscribers, they wanna send you a watch that is worth more than what you paid for the subscription. Obviously in the black and platinum tiers, you're gonna get nicer, more expensive watches. So I did a video overview and an unboxing of Watch Gang a while back. For my first watch delivery under the platinum tier, I received this Glycine Combat Classic automatic watch. It was actually a pretty popular video. Uh, there was a lot of interest in it. And while the, the model isn't for everybody, and you know, subscription boxes in general aren't for everybody, a lot of people love them. And so when Watch Gang asked if I wanted to do another unboxing, I said, yeah, I'd love to open up a watch. Can I do another platinum tier watch? And they said, yes. So we have in here a platinum tier watch. I have no idea what it is. Um, I did give them my preferences, which is for mechanical watches and smaller watches, so like under 40 millimeters. Now, they can't guarantee that every watch they send you is gonna match your preferences, but they do try. So, let's open this box and see what's inside. All right, we're gonna use this little Kershaw knife. Really nice little compact everyday carry knife, and it's also got a bottle opener built in, so very handy, very sharp, and uh, very small. Love opening, I like watches in general, but especially opening a, a box where you have no idea what it's gonna be. A couple of stickers. Just... Stuart Dawson. Okay, this uh, brand is new to me. Not that I know every single watch brand, but I have not heard of this one. Uh, I guess they're based in London. Let's see what this is. Just a little authorized dealer stamp. A little microfiber cloth for cleaning. Okay, let's open it up. Say a substantial watch. Definitely got kind of a classic look. Um, very thick. That's probably like, I don't know, 14, 15 millimeters maybe. I'll give you a better view here. Okay, let's uh, shake this guy a little bit to get it going. And there it goes. And we'll set it, what time is it here? 2.25. There we go. Okay, so it is a, a hacking watch, which means that when you uh, pull the crown out, the second hand stops, so you can get the exact time or you could sync it to another time source. Ah, okay, so that's why this is so thick. It's kind of got this case back that opens up. 
limited edition, number 69 out of 500. So I guess that means there were only 500 of these produced. And this is the 69th one. It's got a high polish on the middle back here. The rest is kind of this brushed steel. The strap is pretty casual. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like suede. You know, if you put this on like a patent leather strap, I think it'd be a lot dressier. Let's try this guy on. So this is probably about a 40 millimeter. This is kind of on the larger side for the watches that I like to wear. And I would definitely have to poke a couple extra holes in this strap because <laughs> it's too big for my small wrist. Actually, it doesn't wear as big as I thought it was going to. It is very thick. I'd probably have trouble fitting this underneath uh, like the cuff of a dress shirt. Let's just look it up, see what we can find. Stuart Dawson, London. Okay, so it looks like this is kind of a new brand. Got a cool website. Okay, they've got a heritage section on their website. Let's see what it says here. Hmm. Okay, so the, the heritage section of the website is just a bunch of pictures. I guess there is some sort of story behind the brand name, but I can't really figure it out from this page. Let's see how much this watch costs. And this is the, let's see, English chronometer self-winding. Okay, so I see it here on their website. Double case back, hinge dust cover. Okay, so I guess that's what that is, a hinge dust cover. I've, I've never actually seen that on a watch. So it's a 42 millimeter, a little thick, 14, uh, 13 millimeters, 22 millimeter lugs, strap, uh, sapphire crystal, water resistance, 5 ATM, so it's not, not really water resistant. It's got this blue suede leather strap. Apparently it's Italian. And yeah, they're charging 990 pounds, which, uh, so I guess like a little over $1,000. Seems like maybe it is new. Let's see, they have a Kickstarter page. Swiss made automatic watch combining military tradition with contemporary fashion and personal engraved message on the inner case back. Okay, so I think what they do here is on this inner case back here, uh, it looks like if you order it from their website, you can get that custom engraved. Mine just says limited edition uh, 069 out of 500. I guess you can get your name or something else, some other message on there if you want to. That's a cool touch. So it looks like they did launch via Kickstarter and they raised enough money to create this first run of watches. They're using the ETA 2824-2, so that's a very standard, uh, very reliable Swiss-made movement. So it looks like they are, you know, trying to use higher-end materials, which is nice. And it looks like in their Kickstarter campaign, you could have gotten this watch for 790, which, you know, is still a lot of money from a relatively new brand that doesn't have a lot of heritage. But through Watch Gang, uh, 275 is definitely not bad for this watch you know, if you're into that kind of watch, like a new watch uh, versus uh, something from a more established brand. So my thoughts about this watch from Stuart Dawson London, you know, it's probably not something I would buy for myself, um, but I do give them credit for using a Swiss movement, making a mechanical watch, using higher end materials and having a, a unique design. You know, it's not the same old kind of like minimal watch that you see a lot on Kickstarter. So, you know, that I think is why people sign up for Watch Gang in the first place, because either they like collecting and they want a big collection, they like the surprise of opening a new, a new watch every month, or they're not sure what kind of watch they actually want. And so they subscribe to Watch Gang to figure that out. Uh, and then once they know what kind of watches they like, they buy that one. Probably the first three or four watches I bought, I don't actually wear anymore because they're not the types of watches I really wanna wear. And so it takes some trial and error to figure that out. So I think if you can, if you can get a few on your wrist, you know, if, especially in a few different styles, uh, you'll figure out very quickly what kind of watches you like and more importantly, which kind of watches you don't like. And then when you're ready to, you know, invest in something, uh, you know, spend a little more money to get a watch that you really, really want, um, you'll know which type of watch you want. So I think something like Watch Gang can definitely help you figure that out. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave your thoughts down below. Uh, links to everything you see here and any discounts are listed down in the description. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, stay stylish. <laughs>